I like to say great day to the viewing audience. Welcome to Walking in the Spirit. I am Dr. Stefan Williams and I'll be a host for today's program. We're going to continue on with our series entitled A Condensed Explanation About Hell. And those of you that are watching this broadcast today, I would like for you to get out your Bibles, your notebooks, your pens, your pencils, your highlighters, and study with us. Let's continue on with the series. It says, the fire on the brazen altar typifies the fire in the center of the earth, which, which scientists attest that there is. Now, get, uh, get over here. So we, it's, um, this brazen altar here, you see this fire is burning on here. Is likened to the earth. Follow me. Fire, there's fire in the middle of the earth. And you see here, it says inorganic earth, altar. You can see the fire there. It's likened to, you know, uh, more, more better here, like, like uh, when you see the, a, a volcano. Is that right? Yeah. So it says the altar. And you see here, it has three plates here. This is likened to the most holy place, holy place, court round about. Okay? Back here. The earth is down, like in the lower part of that, what I just illustrated there. See? Most holy place, holy place, court round about. See? And this fire was always burning on this altar here. Once again, the fire on the brazen altar typified the fire in the center of the earth, which scientists attest that there is. The brazen laver, which is here, that has water in this laver here, is interposed between the fire on the altar and the fire, Yahweh, in the most holy place. Like as the Red Sea like as the Red Sea here it says Red Sea was interposed between Egypt like into the earth plane and Canaan's land. And you notice here it says, most holy place, well, Canaan's land lining to the most holy place, most holy place lining to Canaan's land. Okay, you come on down here. Holy place lining to Wars of Sinai. Wars of Sinai lining to the holy place. And you come on down here. Egypt lining to the earth plane or the outer court. The outer court likened to the earth plane or Egypt. And Canaan's land or heaven. Like the to the most holy place of Canaan's land, like to the third heaven. Holy place world of Sinai, like to the second heaven. Outer court like to Egypt or the first heaven. And as we have illustrated on our chart here, you see this fire here that's going all the way around 
the edges of this chart. Okay. Because our Father Yahweh Elohim, Yahshua, is a consuming fire. It says, Thus when Yahweh shall descend, that means a coming down, descend. So if you descend, you must, al you must already be, or you already are, in an ascending state. Once again, thus when Yahweh shall descend from heaven, as Yahweh Elohim Yahshua is his superincorporeal form, so part of nature, anthropomorphic being, see. Thus when Yahweh shall descend from heaven as fire, mankind will literally be, literally be caught between fire above, see, and fire beneath. In the heart of the earth, which is likened to being in, being in, see, follow, the lake of fire, see. And if you zoom in for the viewers, this is Yahweh Elohim Yahshua right here. It says Omega, meaning in. Sanctum of Sanctatoriums. And if you see here, if you get real close to the viewers, zoom in as far as you can, you see his eyes is like a flame of fire. So the whole vessel is nothing but fire. See? You see the fire here? You see the fire here, seven branch lampstand. See? And you see the fire here. Like into the third heaven, second heaven, first heaven, see? See? And fire beneath in the heart of the earth, which is like in a, unto his being in a lake of fire. And quiet and kept. Yahweh him Yahshua is that lake of fire. See? Once again, and fire beneath in the heart of the earth, which is like unto being in being in a lake of fire, see. The sea. says, this was typified also by the manner of which the first world was destroyed. Get here. It says here, this chart says here, or this plate says here, no preparation entering the ark. And we understand the story about the ark here. We understand that, that the ark was threefold, but just one ark. Upper deck, middle deck, lower deck representing the Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit. Okay? Once again, this was typified also by the manner of which the first world was destroyed, see, by a flood. See, it says after flood, and it says the flood here. Once again, this was typified also by the manner in which the first world was destroyed. Yahweh Elohim opened, Yahweh Elohim Yahshua opened the windows of heaven. Opened the windows of heaven, the third heaven, and poured out water from above. So in like manner, the whole creation, according to 2 Peter 3rd chapter, there will be nothing left. All the elements will be destroyed or, or will be burnt up. 
just like unto the flood, water came down. See? Top to bottom, from top to bottom, side to side. See? Like a, like a consuming. Once again, Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, the windows of heaven, excuse me, Yahweh Elohim Yahshua opened the windows of heaven and poured out water from above. Remember the firmament dividing the waters above from the waters beneath. Let me get over here for the viewers here. Down here. See, so we have waters, it says here, plate seven, second day, it says waters here. See, you've got waters above, see? And you have, it says here, the water beneath. You understand? Like unto the third heaven, second heaven, first heaven, like unto the outer court, a court round about, holy place, most holy place. Like unto Canaan's land, the world of Sinai, and Egypt. Okay? Like unto earth, I mean air, earth, water. I mean, excuse me, air, water, earth. Okay. And I'm going to be reading Genesis, the first chapter, in verse seven from the Holy Name Bible. It says, and, and Elohim made the firmament and divide the waters which were under the firmament see, under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so, see, all right? It said above the firmament here, waters above the firmament, see? And it says here, the waters beneath, okay? And I'll continue on, just gonna finish right here. Genesis, this, uh, first chapter, verse 8 now. It says, Elohim called the firmament heaven. See? He called the firmament heaven. Okay? So you have a third heaven, a second heaven, and a first heaven. Elohim called the firmament heaven in the evening and the morning were the second day. Okay? And the fountains... And the fountains of the deep were broken up. Okay? Were broken up. Just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be reading Genesis, Genesis, the seventh chapter, and verse 11 from the Holy Name Bible. It says, In the 600th year of Noah's life, get here, put viewers. It says once again, this play here says, Noah preparation entering the ark. Once again, Genesis, the seventh chapter in verse 11 from the Holy Name Bible says, In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, meaning the month of May, according to the Hebrew calendar, okay? The first month of the year is April. The second month of the year is May in the Hebrew calendar. Once again, Genesis 7, Genesis 7 and 11, Holy Name Bible says, in the, in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day, so May 17th, the 
the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up. And the floodgates of heaven were open. It says, and mankind was caught and destroyed in the mist. This analysis pertained to the consummation of the flesh. Suddenly and quickly, as Paul said, that we all will be changed in a moment. Once again, this analysis pertained to the consummation of the flesh. Suddenly and quickly, as Paul says, that we all will change, we all will be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, according to 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, in verse 52. But the real hell comes when? After the consummation of the flesh, this is used as a pictorial illustration, those souls who have sinned and transgressed Yahweh's commandments will stand in the presence of Yahweh, who is a consuming fire. Once again, get right here for the viewers, please. It says here, Omega. It says, Sanct, uh, Sanctum, Sanctum of Sanct, Sanctatoriums. See. Fire, fire, fire. It means fire all the way through here. And you see the stars there in his hand. And you, he refers to, give reference to Revelation, the first chapter, the first chapter, verses, verse 12 to 20. Once again it says now, but the real hell comes when after the consummation of the flesh, those souls who have sinned and transgressed Yahweh's commandments will stand in the presence of Yahweh, Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, who is, who is a consuming fire and discern the glory and radiance and, of Yahweh and his sons. Okay? Now, I need you to follow me over here for the viewers. Now, you notice it says here, sons of Elohim. See? This is like, in, a, in other words, this is the head and this is the body. Okay? There's only one head and one body. See? He said it was standing in the presence of Yahweh and, and his sons. See? There's only, truly, there's only one son. See? Meaning the S-O-N. This is the same one here. See? See? The same one here. Okay? Once again, but the real hell comes when after the consummation of the flesh, those souls who have sinned and transgressed Yahweh's commandments will stand in the presence of Yahweh, Elohim Yahshua, who is a consuming fire, and discern the glory and radiance of Yahweh, Elohim Yahshua, and his sons, who are clothed on with a new and glorious body, and compare their neck and and, and, and compare their naked selves with them. See? They shall, then shall there be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth and cursing. That is the true hell. <coughs> I 
as Paul states, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. That's according to Romans the 8th chapter in verse 18. Consequently, when the unclothed souls and sinful spirits see all of this glory and recognize that they have no further chance to attain, see, no further chance to attain. Until the same and until the same and are in really excuse me, are in reality banished from, from Yahweh Elohim Yahshua and all his glory. For a type compared the old weather beaten tabernacle in the wilderness with the splendor and magnificence of Solomon's temple. The temple's up there, the tabernacle up here, talking about Sinai. Yeah, you know what I said out here, right here. Make sure you get both of those good and close if you can. Just these two here. Once again, for a type compared the old weather beaten tabernacle. In the wilderness, same one here, same one here. Come back out. Once again, for a tight compare the old weather beaten tabernacle in the wilderness, see, with the splendor and magnificence of Solomon's temple, which is here. Forever, that is punishment indeed, and that is the lake of fire and brimstone indeed. Once again, it says forever, that is punishment indeed, and that is the lake of fire and brimstone indeed. Indeed. It says, The Apostle Paul, therefore, the Apostle Paul said, Therefore, if thy enemy hungry, if thy enemy hunger, Feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. And that's according to Romans, the 12th chapter, verses 20 and 21. It says, according to the divine pattern which we mentioned early in this discourse, hell can be geographically located as the grave. Since the universe itself is a tabernacle, see, the universe itself, see, which Yahweh pierced and not man. Since the universe itself is a tabernacle made after the fashion or of the one Moses saw atop Mount Sinai, see, the one Moses saw atop Mount Sinai, see, this is just a replica of the true archetype, original pattern, divine pattern of the universe. See. Once again, since the universe itself is a tabernacle made after the fashion 
of the one Moses saw atop Mount Sinai and later, and later built in the wool of Sinai, see? Which the tabernacle is a transfiguration of Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, see? Himself, see? All right? Who is a flaming fire. I need your red reader, please. 2 Thessalonians verses 1, 6, 7, and 8, please. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, 6, 7, and 8 out of the Holy Name Bible. Seeing it is righteous thing with Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Mm -hmm. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when Yahshua the Messiah shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that knew not Yahweh and that obeyed not the gospel of our Savior, Yahshua the Messiah. Thank you, reader. And that will conclude this week's series. Until we meet again next week, I like to leave you with these few words. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the precious kingdom of Yahweh Elohim, Yahshua the Messiah. Hallelujah.